Okay, right here, we're here with Coach Musgrave. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started with a question from Jeff Ferrato. Good afternoon, Bill, how you doing? Good. Excellent, um, just could you take us through your, your uh, thought process the last couple of days as you analyzed tape from uh, the game? You obviously had a great first quarter and then after that it was a little less effective, especially the second and third quarters. What did you think about, uh, about your team's performance? Yeah, we want more. We want more touches for everybody and more production. Uh, more across the board. So we're look, looking forward to making a big jump here between weeks one and two. Is there anything in particular that you saw in terms of execution that prevented that from happening uh, after such a good start uh, in the first quarter? Well, across the board, we, we lost our rhythm and we didn't gain it back until it was too late. And then we couldn't pull out the victory there at the end. How would you grade how um, Chase played? And what did you think about his performance? Yeah, he did some good things. He got through some progressions that he didn't get through a year ago last fall and uh, did some did some nice things both in the pocket and out of the pocket. And, and in terms of uh, his ability to get the ball downfield, was that dictated by kind of what they were doing on defense or, or did he make some calls where he went elsewhere? Well, I think there's always a, uh, a combination of factors. We want to get more chunks in the past game, and we'll hope to do that this week and in ensuing weeks. But we definitely didn't have enough chunks in the run game or the pass game the other night. Thanks. Then we'll go to David Bush from Bear Insider. Um, good morning, Coach. Just uh, what do you see in that TCU's defense, and are they similar to uh, Reno's, and what sort of things do they do? Well, TCU's defense has um, been doing the same thing for 21 years. They're really, really good at it. And uh, they play some great coverage. Um, it's cutting level or cutting edge stuff, you know, high level defense um, with Coach Patterson. So they know what they're doing and they've got uh, really good people to execute it. They've got good pass rushers um, and their corners uh, are good at what they do, covering people. And uh, particularly interested in number 32, Mathis. Uh, he's gotten a lot of attention. Uh, just what do you see in him? Well, we'll need to have a plan for him um, and uh, be able to account for him down in and down out. He's a uh, real long six foot five and uh, can get in passing lanes, can rush the passer, and he plays the run well too. Right. Thanks, Coach. Okay, we'll go to Trace Travers from Rivals. Hey, Coach. Um, is there any particular – what did you see on Saturday that made you guys, I guess, go a bit away from the run game? Was there anything in particular that Nevada was doing? or Because um, you guys, I think, ran five run plays in the second and third quarter combined. Yeah, I think we were just trying to move the ball any way we could. Uh, nothing changes there. We uh, – we want to get the ball in the hands of our playmakers and think, uh, shoot, we, we just want to get the ball going down the field, run or pass and find what we do well. So um, I think that's the only explanation we got. And with that, uh, how do you feel about your, how your team ran the ball throughout the Nevada game and how do you think it can translate to the TCU game? Yeah, I think we can be a lot better. We can be a lot better. We, we tried to run it at times. We took a really I took a tough penalty on a second and three when we ran it. Um, had a couple negative runs, but that's going to happen. That's football. So I think across the board, like we talked about earlier, that uh, we want to be better offensively across the board, and we have to be. Thank you. Okay, we'll go back to David Bush from Bear Insider. Um, uh, Coach, uh, later in the game, uh, to Carlos Brooks uh, got off a couple of good runs. Will he become more of a factor uh, at going forward uh, in in the running game? Yes, to Carlos has had a super uh, twenty twenty one in spring. He uh, was real productive. Had a great um, showing during those fifteen practices. Um, didn't practice as much had an injury uh, early in camp here in August. So he uh, wasn't out there all the time, but now that he's back, um, we're really excited about his change of pace. He's got a different gear. And so uh, when he enters the game, I think the defense feels that, that extra gear that he has. And is he a hundred percent now? Yes, I believe so. 
Okay, Hank. Okay, Jeff Frado. Yeah, Bill, you obviously were not here when Cal last played TCU in the Cheez-It Bowl. Is there much chatter among the players about that game on the offensive side? Because they had a rough, rough afternoon. Both teams had a rough time offensively in that game. Yeah, it looked like a back and forth football game, a little bit like Georgia and Clemson from last weekend. Both those offenses had a tough time. So right. um, really proud of the way Chase played. I know he didn't get to play in the second half, but we ran that touchdown in early on. Um, had a nice corner route on the right-hand side that comes to mind. Um, had a couple posts that were thrown into, or one of them that was thrown into post coverage, which happens to all quarterbacks. But I thought Chase, for a freshman in a bowl game against a defense like TCU, once again, who knows uh, what they're doing at a high elite level. Um, we, we've watched the game, um, both as coaches and also with the players. So, uh we feel like we can apply some lessons learned from that cheese of bowl uh, this Saturday. I don't know if you were ever were lifted from the game in the middle of a game as he was in that one. As you said, he was a redshirt freshman. But how does it how does that motivate a player and how does that fuel him, you think? Well, I think it's disappointing because you want to finish what you start. And, you know, you always want to finish what you start. But at times, football games can go in all different directions. And uh, Chase is a team oriented player. He's a. Uh, about the team and he'll do whatever it takes for the team. And uh, there's no moping or anything like that. He's always motivated whether he's on the field or whatever role uh, he takes. So he's handled it like a mature um, fellow that he is. So he's not taking that game personally in any way, you don't think? No, I think he's looking forward to the next opponent. It just happens to be the Horn Frogs. We're all looking forward to the next game after us not getting the outcome that we wanted against uh, Nevada. Thank you, Bill. Okay, Trace Travers. Yeah, um, you guys, I don't know how many times you guys threw to the tight end Saturday off the top of my head, but I don't know if it was quite where you wanted to be. How can you guys incorporate the tight end more in the passing game? Yeah, we didn't get it to the tight ends hardly at all. So we feel like our tight ends are really weapons too. So we're hoping to make a big jump here from week to one, week one to week two, and get those tight ends more touches um, and have them, you know, contribute like we know they can. And on that same front, do you see Jeremiah Hunter getting more touches after he had a couple of nice catches Saturday? Yeah, he did have a couple of nice catches and he makes plays for us day in and day out at practice. And so he's one of those guys that um, we need to send more balls his way. And that, you know, that comes down to game planning and play calling uh, at the right time. Okay, anybody else with the final question? Give you about two seconds here. Okay, Bill, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you guys. Safe travels, Bill. Yep, let's go get them. Thank All you. Bye-bye. Right.